Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to show you how to smoke cocktails. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. There's two ways to do it, right? Yeah. One way is you smoke the glass that you're going to put the cocktail in. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the simplest way to do it. Right. And that's how most commonly we do it, right? Or you can smoke the cocktail once it's built and in the glass, mm -hmm. right? We're going to show you that way too. Yeah. Yeah. Smoking the glass itself gives you sort of um, a more subtle smoky flavor mm -hmm. because the oils from the smoke of whatever you're burning kind of adhere to the inside of the glass. Right. And so when you put your cocktail in there as you drink it, as you smell it, you get that, that, that smoky, charcoal smell. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So, a couple things, you, you know, there's various things you can burn, mm -hmm. right? Dried leaves, right? These are, are the patchouli leaves that we use in our slow dancing Sasquatch cocktail, mm -hmm. right? You can smoke those bay leaves. Any sort of leaves we usually add on top of the wood. Right. Mm -hmm. To get a lot of smoke, you want a lot of surface area on your wood. So the smaller, the better. Mm -hmm. These, this is uh, little mesquite, tiny mesquite bits that come uh, from the guys that make the smoking gun, which we're going to talk about in a bit. And that gives you the most surface area, so you're going to have a lot of smoke. Right. Right. But those are more expensive than these wood chips here that you buy at the grocery store, made mm -hmm. for when you're smoking your meats on the grill. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So we have those. They also have wood chunks which are bigger and don't work so well because right. they're thick and heavy, all right? Cinnamon sticks, we like to smoke a glass with for our Irish coffees, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Anything with Angostura bitters that you're going to smoke, a smoked cinnamon stick is a perfect match. So we're going to show you first how to smoke the glass. We're going to do that in two ways. All right. First, we're going to uh, smoke a rocks glass here, and we're going to use uh, just a handful of these little mesquite chips. So you put those on a teacup, we're using our foil here, and then just light them. We're going to use a little kitchen torch here just to get that lit. And it's when the flame is extinguished that where you see the smoke. So we get that going, you kind of put the glass over it, and then let it sit there and smoke itself as you build your cocktail. Mm -hmm. Now when we're making Irish coffee we like to smoke cinnamon sticks. That's right. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like a cigar, is how you light it, right? Right. Um, we like the soft cinnamon sticks. If you have those in your market, um, we enjoy those because they light a little quicker. Mm -hmm. So to that, for that, we just use a match and light it like you would a cigar. Phil's kind of the cigar smoker here, so we'll let him light that. You just light the tip of it. Get it burning pretty good. You get that burning and smoking real good. Put it right up underneath the glass, and that's going to fill up all the smoke in there. And if we're serving Irish coffees for like a group of people, we just go from one cup to the other, mm -hmm. and then we just set it down and let it sit there while we're we're doing the rest. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. That's simple. All right. So then, when you you build your cocktail, you chill it, pour it in, or if it's Irish coffee, of course you don't chill it. And then there you you have that simple way to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Another option is once the cocktail is made. Is to smoke it that way. And there are two ways to do that. One uses this smoking gun, and we're going to show you how to use that. Um, it's designed to use these very small chips, and there's a little hole here that the wood chips go in. We like using mesquite. Uh, the fan goes on, that sort of sucks the flame and then the smoke through the tube and into the cocktail. Mm -hmm. And one thing we've learned, which was sort of a surprise to us, is that a chilled cocktail. Uh, soaks up the smoke more than a room temperature cocktail does. So I think it must be because it adheres to the water molecules, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But usually you'll want to stir the cocktail, uh, chill it, pour it into your serving glass, and then smoke it. If you're going to add ice, then we usually add the ice after it's been smoked. So to use this uh, machine, you just add about a uh, tablespoon of these wood chips into the top part here, and they say tap it down, although we don't agree with that. We like to use, leave it a little loose. And then turn the fan on, light the match, and then it will get sucked in. The flame will get sucked in. And light the flames. Uh, and light the chips. You can see the smoke coming out already. That just goes into the cocktail. And we let it bubble there, usually for about 60 seconds. 
gives a nice smoky note to any cocktail. We'll keep our fingers crossed that the fire alarm doesn't go off and the fire <laughs> right. department doesn't show up, right? <laughs> but you can smell that in the skeet. Mm -hmm. there are, these smoking guns come with all sorts of wood. Apple, cherry, hickory. We like mesquite for dark cocktails. Mm -hmm. Bourbon, brandy, and such. Okay. Kind of get the idea. We're going to turn that guy off. Um, and then the other way to smoke a cocktail that's been made already is to use this guy here. And this is like for drama. Yeah, it's a lot more right. dramatic. We had this done at Bar Chef up in Toronto. So you have one of these metal stands and then a dome. And we bought one that's large enough that we can put two cocktails in there. Mm -hmm. So you could put a cocktail here and a cocktail here. But we're going to do one today. And then you want to take your, again we're using uh, mesquite chips here, pour them onto the surface. We have tin foil down here because the oils do come out, come out of the wood and they will uh, stain your stand. So again, we'll just light this. We want to get all of it lit because we want as much surface area as possible. And then blow it out and that's when the smoke is going to start. Mm -hmm. and that's when you put your dome on. If you're going to add leaves, again you add those once you uh, blow out the flame. So we're just going to get our wood chips here started. We've experimented with this in various ways, like having these soak in a high proof rum. Mm -hmm. But the best way is just to use them dry. So it takes a little while to get these flames going. If you have one of those larger flames that you use, like welders use, <laughs> it goes a little quicker, but we're right. kind of scared of that, aren't we? Right. Yeah. So we just sort of move it around to try to get every little bit of surface flaming. And then we'll blow it out. And let the flames just sit there and sort of engulf the drink mm -hmm. and uh, take this to the person you're serving it to and their jaw will drop open, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to let this sit there probably for about 60 seconds or so. It's going to give you a nice perfume on the nose because the glass, both inside and out, are going to be smoked. Mm -hmm. um, if you want a high level of smoke, the smoking gun does best. Mm -hmm. The other methods are going to give you just a light it's kind of superficial smoke, but enough to make your cocktails nice and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So here are the various ways you have for smoking cocktails. Enjoy. Cheers.